Coming up on Look Today, well, Saratoga City Council did not pay for the mailing of educational materials for the proposed change in a form of government in Saratoga. I've got details. Plus, Senator Betty Little tours BOCES in Hudson Falls. We were there. More on that coming up. And Cafe Lena will put its new elevator to use for a very unique upcoming performance. I've got those details all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, on tonight's program, I sit down with Ben Lapham. He's a Green Party candidate for Glens Falls Common Council Ward 4. And he's here to talk about his platform and his reasons for running. I also sit down with David Fisk. Now he's a local historian and he's here to talk about the life and times of Solomon Northrop and an upcoming lecture on Solomon at SUNY Adirondack. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our continuing coverage, the Saratoga Springs City Charter Review Commission did mail its charter education materials to 10,000 households. Now, this packet, by the way, contains information about the proposed recommendation to change our form of government. Now, the commission, by the way, is required under state law to mail out the information. However, the Saratoga City Council did not fund the mailer. Well, we were at the recent council meeting where Commissioner Madigan spoke. We know that people vote with their pocketbook. So you put out a document that says you're going to save $403,000 every year. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm really nervous. This, this crosses the line from education to advocacy because I don't believe you can do that. Now, according to the commission, Commission's Treasurer Gordon Boyd. Two members of the Commission wound up paying for the mailing when we spoke to Gordon about this. We've not only released the fiscal report, but we've assembled a mailing that includes the fiscal report, a summary of the Charter, and the entire text of the Charter. And we feel this is the most responsible way to inform the voters what they will be voting on on November the 7th. Now we reached out to Success this afternoon as well as Michelle Madigan and expect to get their position tomorrow and we'll have that for you in tomorrow's news. In other news, well, Senator Betty Little toured Southern Adirondack Education Center of BOCES. It's located in Hudson Falls. Now, BOCES staff gave Senator Little an update on their rebranding efforts of Exceptional Learning Division. Now, students in the new Visions Engineering program made a presentation to the Senator. Now, we were at BOCES and we spoke to Senator Little. Well, first of all, it's always fun to come down and meet with the students and the people who are involved in our educational programs. Uh, that's the best way to find out what's going on and how successful they are. And both of these programs, the skills and the FFA program and the culinary program as well, really not only teach a skill, uh, but they are great leadership programs. Yeah, I'm sorry about the dark lighting on that one. All right. We also spoke to James Dexter. Now, he's superintendent of BOCES. Our senators have, and our assembly folks have always been really supportive of our programs. Uh, career and technical education is an important part of our economy, not just uh, student education as far as workforce development. And certainly our senators are interested in not only quality education for the kids, but also making sure that our local businesses have the, the talent they need to grow. So we're thrilled that she could be here today to see the work that we're doing. And, and also, uh, there's a lot of state aid that goes into uh, our, some of our resources, and we always like to make sure they see where the money's going. Yeah, BOCES does great work. All right, switching from news to weather. Temperature is expected to stay in the high 60s and even into the high 70s in the coming days. Unreal. Let's see how the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Thanks, Jesse. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser with your first look weather forecast. As you look at the temperatures overnight across the area, 52 Clifton Park, 51 in Greenwich, so relatively cool night temps about 50 degrees across much of the area. 50 in Glens Falls towards Parsville and Johnsburg. 47 the overnight low. You can see a few showers otherwise increasing clouds. 50 the overnight low as I mentioned. We'll continue to see those few showers. 68 the afternoon high on Friday. 
Few showers, partly sunny as you walk out the door. Temps generally mid to upper 50s, and the extended forecast will continue to see temperatures rising once again to the lower 70s on Saturday with a 40% chance of showers. Looks like it's going to be a wet forecast with rain chances at least 40 to 50%. If you want to call a little break from the wet weather, Friday might be the day to do so. The temperatures will be pretty mild, maybe a little bit warm for this time of the year. Upper 70s for Sunday for highs. 70s continue into Monday and Tuesday. Low temps will be upper 50s to near 60 degrees, especially Sunday through Tuesday mornings. And winds generally out of the south as well as the southwest, maybe southeast. But generally a southerly component that's going to bring warm weather to our area. But keep the umbrellas handy each day in the forecast. As I mentioned, rain chances 40 to 50 percent, especially starting Saturday. That's a look at the first look weather update. I'm meteorologist Clarence Ponser. Now I'll send it back to you, Jesse. Thanks very much, Clarence. All right, back to the news. Here's a great story. You might recall back in July, we were reporting that Cafe Lena was going to introduce its long-awaited elevator. Now, this historical coffee shop right in downtown Saratoga is now accessible to everyone. Well, the Durham Country Poets will perform at the cafe on Sunday, and they're going to put the elevator to use because the singer, Kevin Harvey, of the group, suffered a debilitating injury in his youth and is now confined to a wheelchair. Now, we will be at that event, and we're going to have more on this after the holiday on Tuesday. Up next, I sit down with Ben Lapham. He's a Green Party candidate for Glens Falls on uh, Common Council, Ward 4. And he's here to talk about his platform and his reasons for running. Plus, I also sit down with David Fisk. Now, he's a local historian, and he's here to talk about the life and times of Solomon Northrup and, it's in, and his upcoming lecture at SUNY Adirondack. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Then give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. That's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. We're running a little tight on time, so I've only I've got a couple of quick ones. But uh, I did want to give a look out to Senator Betty Little. It's always great to see Betty out in the community. And uh, obviously, as time will attest, she cares very much about the community, and the community cares about Betty Little. So look out goes to you, Betty. Um, also, uh, Tarina Parker, she was in for an interview, uh, repositioning BOCES about exceptional uh, students and programs and things like that. And you can't help but being taken with it, especially in this day and age when practical solutions to education are so important. So Lookout then has to go to Jim Dexter as well. Uh, tonight on Look TV, it's sold. That's our call in auction program, Great Estate Jewelry and Coins. You've got to check that out. And tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.